This music makes me want to like slay on the catwalk. Slay. Yo, welcome back, chat. Speaking of slang, we're going to be slaying the invaders in tonight's stream of. Wait, what game are we playing? Yeah, Farthest Frontier. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Good to see you all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. Good to see everybody. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to all you new members, subscribers, super chatters, uh, <clears throat> viewers, friends, fans. Turn that down a little, just, just a smidge. All right, a little more than a smidge. There we go. All right. Let's jump back into our Big O City episode eight, guys. This is probably the greatest like <clears throat> run we've ever done in this game. Some of our first ones were good because it was very exciting and we were just learning how things work. But man, this uh, this game is good, and uh, the city is very good too. We got very lucky with the city we've been building. Yeah, I'm slaying. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting ready to slay with more towers and tower upgrades. We got a ways to go, but we're good. Oop. I might actually have a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Indeed, I did. All right. Where are we? Ah, uh, the village. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. What are we working on? Food's a little low. We finished uh, redoing the farms, though, so food should be... Oh, that's right. I remember what we were working on. We're making our fromage. Got our little uh, cheese maker being built, but we need bricks for that, so we won't be able to finish that till next year. And maybe an enemy attack coming in. In the spring. Damn. Alright, the winter is over. Alright, we gotta get to our po a population up to 400. Uh, we're probably not gonna hit that goal today, but we are gonna make a big push for it and make the city even bigger and better. Bye. Don't want to build over there. There's a gold, literally a gold mine. We're going to build a park here. That's for the temple. That house is slightly out of the capture area. But we're going to have to build like a third section to the town. But I don't know about going down. Maybe we can go this way. To the east. I mean, there's prime real estate right here for it. Yo, Martin, thank you uh, for the 12 months. Congratulations on one year as a member. Enjoy the new beautiful yellow eye color like a cat. So, if we build a new market, where do we build it? Probably around here, because when we upgrade it, it'll have a bigger capture area. How much bigger? Okay. Lethros. 
What's up, Brad? Uh, I think we'd sell a hundred brewskis to you, Brad. Now, where were we? Amenities. A market. I think we'll actually put this road here. And then put down our market right about. Yeah, we do want some overlap, don't we? Yeah, he was like, yeah, he was he was here real early. We we'll have a lot of trees to cut down too, won't we? spring. Hopefully we've delivered those beers. Nope, still waiting on delivery. Man, that takes forever. Taking forever. All right, another trader should be on his way soon. Most of the roads in town upgraded. Oh, we also were starting with the cattle too, weren't we? Do we have th what is it? Three, three. We have three ho uh, three cattle, horses. Um, do you have any more, sir? You do. For 613, he's got two of them. And we'll wait until Lethros gives us that beer. Leave like a hundred bucks. We need twelve hundred. Guys, yeah, leave it in twenty five days. They haven't delivered a damn thing. Twelve hundred. How much is each? Like six eighteen. 
613. All right, just give me all the money. We want those cows, baby. Oh, cool. Now we got five cows. So now, apparently, cow... Um, Birth rates are affected by the uh, number of cows in a barn and also the um, number of people who are working at the barn as well. Let's deliver some pottery. He's also selling tallow. We need that for soap. Don't we? Sixty-ninth like. Well, thank you very much for smashing the like button. That is a celebration. Yeah, I have a live uh, chat on. Yeah, we'll have our own tallow as soon as we get uh, cow slaughtering going. Food's going up a little bit. What are we, early spring? Early summer. No 
No way. Is he about? No way. No way. Is that cow going to get attacked by that bear? No way. And the cow, of course, has to go up out of the range of the tower. Could have saved his life. We gotta protect this investment. Okay, they're good now. Wow, I can't, I, I can't even believe that was a thing. Didn't even know that. I didn't even know the bears would attack cows. Good job, everybody. Well, that's new to me. Can't even believe it. Alright. Leave some money in the town. 2000 for trade for the next year. Yeah, we spent uh, quite a bit of money on the cows, but that's alright. We're all good. Oh, this field looks horrible with weeds, but it's only 8%. What are we doing with grain? Grain is at 600, okay. Flax? Flax is at 12. Big old flax field, like another one. Yeah, there's been an update kind of recently, which is why we're playing it again. How do you make your place so flat looking? You can uh, use the flattening tool. There's a way to flatten the terrain. And it takes a while, but yeah. 
I mean, the, the steepest area was like right here. And we were able to flatten it out and make it look pretty good. And there are, yeah, there are some tutorial videos on the channel if you'd like to watch. Chad is linking some of those for you. Things on farming, cows. Some things have changed a little bit from the tutorials that we filmed about a year ago, but the, um, the premise is still there. Like, you know, essentially it's the same. Things might just look a little different. Call on us, thank you for the 22 months. There's a raptor egg. Thank you very much. Oh, they're building that tower, yeah. Bro, the, the amount of bears that just keep coming in, ridiculous. Oh, we have 2,000 grain, whoa. Where is all that being stored? The mill certainly can't hold it all. Looks like most places store around 200. Unless it's the actual dedicated storage building. Ever watch Viva La Dirt League? No. What is that? Sounds like a motocross thing. on assigning farmers anymore. Nothing needs to urgently get done. Everything's just kind of happening at like the regular speed. Just happening. Man, look at those burnt orange. Man, that's crazy. Bum, 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 bum. Clothing, we're at 42 as well. Oh, we could make a bookmaker now. Well, actually, we gotta get that cheese re up. Unfortunately, I didn't see anybody selling bricks yet. Could do our own brickmaker, though, and stop getting whole. Yeah, let's. Yeah. I think it's about time we do that. Mm. Brickyard requires coal, though. How much is here? 2,000. That's a pretty good start.
The mining begins. And Husker is 21 months. Good times in Raptoria. Well, thanks for being a part of the good times, bruh. Another composter soon, too. Oh, coal mine's already ready. Wow, they built that very quickly. All right, let's gather up tons of coal. I think we're just going to leave the farmers assigned now. Coal we can mine. Oh, nine thousand iron ore. Another seven and another six. We have almost unlimited amounts of iron. Lethros, move over, man. We're, we're making the heavy weapons now. that over here and we can start building hooses again.
Well, someone died of old age, but immediately someone was born. The circle of death. When was the last raid? Um, I don't know. They seem to be coming more infrequently. We'll see. Is it possible to upgrade a storage building? Yes. Or do you always have to change... Uh, always have to build new ones? Um, yeah, you can... I think most storage is upgradable. Not all of it. Like, I don't think the grain silos can be upgraded. No. But the root cellars can be upgraded. Pretty much all storage, yeah. Last year was year 35, 36, yeah. Seems like every three years or so. Bunch of trees being chopped down. Oh, it must be the new the new area. Chop chop. They're moving and shaking. Also, how are we doing on construction? Thirteen? Okay. I'll go down to ten. Building this new subdivision to attract uh, new clientele. and construction are going crazy. Yo, Vlad. Thank you very much. Uh, for the five months as a hatching, would you be willing to watch a VLDL during... What? Not sure what that means, my man. What is that? Thanks for the five months as a hatchling. Oh, Viva La Dirt League? I don't know. I mean, it could be a copyrighted thing. Could get in trouble. We'll see. Build another big O park. I 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a, an effect on most people. statue. Oh, we could put a, well, yeah, that lady's already there. Thanks, lad. Does adding more roads <laughs> increase desirability? Roads? Uh, no. Roads are just kind of like for, you know, people to walk on from their homes. And another important thing about the homes, too, uh, with road layout is uh, fire prevention. If houses start to burn down, you kind of want to make sure you have smaller gridiron. up to 250 almost 250 people in the uh, in the city Should be better over there. another theater too it's a bit close though we'll have to see capacity What's up, man? Welcome back to the big O stream. Ooh, livestock animal born. Check our numbers. Yeah, it's at five. Cool. Yeah, let's put down a well.
Beldar. No bricks, Beldar. don't want to sell them anything. Wow, we got lots of flour. Oh, we should put a bakery down. Oh, there's our bakery. are looking real nice. Is this Gas Station Simulator? You know, actually, I saw there's a DLC coming out for Gas Station Sim that's going to make it look completely different. Like you'll be on an island. Which will be interesting. An island how are bears supposed to visit? Exactly. finished baker that's cool nice score of a want the soap for ourselves. Wow, just made 2000 bucks. Great. Could be at twenty five. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's selling shoes. Damn. This dude's selling shoes for like nothing. Like discount day. Hey, what's up, She Fox? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hiding in that bush. We see you. All right. 60 shoes. Buy in stock. And then we'll sell some to. Oh, but broke, broke Bucks Beldar. Guy's got nothing going on. Eh, shoes don't bring in too much anyway. Oh, that was like the perfect amount to like wipe him out. He's down to 196. Um... Well, we could get these meat, we could increase our meat reserves, our meat deposits. For uh, trying to get the immigrant numbers up. Um, yeah. Food is good. I like food. Barrel, 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 barrel. All right, that's fine. All right, well, we had two babies and four people move. It's good numbers. We'll need people working at that new bakery. A warm welcome indeed. Very warm. Cozy, fluffy. <clears throat> you know, like, nah, I was gonna say like velvet, but velvet's kinda, velvet's fancy, but it doesn't have any like warmth qualities or padding. It's kinda more like, um, mm, wool is itchy, polyester, no. Something. <laughs> yeah, flannel. That's right. <sighs> Very, uh, <laughs> smells like uh, whiskey and leather, brother. A little bit of cigar. Yeah, fur. Yeah, I like fur. Do we need one brick delivered? Or one stone? Anybody? One stone? <laughs> All the cowboys. Yeah, that's right, brother. Rip and dip. That's not happening, but I will. Oh, Anders is back. He's going to want some brewskis. Oh, we got. Oh, okay. Change that trade to three hundo. Damn, Plains Rider didn't bring cows this time, but he did bring cheese. So there's that. Fields and hide coats provide. Uh, nah. We need a little bit of tallow for our soap industry. Let's just buy everything he's got for that. All right, all the tallow has been purchased. Uh, what is the yellow bar by the town hall? Oh, uh, whenever a building has a yellow bar above it, it means it's low maintenance. Uh, this market here, for example. 
So the, the construction crews have to come over and tidy that up. That really doesn't have much money left. Let's do a 80. Sixty. Well, it's midsummer, man. There, were, there were a few years where we we're getting triple trades. Now it's just two people, uh, two people a year. No, I didn't see anybody buy bricks or bring bricks either. Um, I think Beldar. Who else brings bricks? Big Money Masook, I think. I think those are the two. <laughs> Talk Portuguese, I can't understand without subtitles. Schneezik. want those uh, cows. And maybe we should get some more people in the construction business, man. This construction is booming. Yeah, bakery just finished. Good. Oh, do our bakeries full? Okay, that one could definitely need more people. Um. Oh yeah. Schneezik, bless you. That's a good one. <laughs> I remember that one. be a good one. <laughs> Chat, we got to get like a big group of immigrants to come in. We got to get like just 10 people to be like, bro, we're in. We got to get that pop up that just says, dude, 10 people thought the city was so amazing that, <laughs> that they stopped what they were doing and wanted to move in. I always thought that was funny. Like there was a, on a route that I'd used to drive uh, to and from work, there was a, an apartment building that had like a sign on it, you know, like a banner that they tied onto it that said like, if you lived here, you could be home by now. And it's like, yeah, that doesn't make me want to like pull off the highway and like pull into that place and immediately, like it's with, uh, it's like ads on YouTube and stuff. Like nothing really makes me immediately want to just do something. So it's like for people coming to this town, it's like, hey, they were passing through, but dude, the, 
hey, this guy was just this guy was uh, on his way to his sister's house, uh, several frontiers over. But they saw your city, and it was so amazing that this guy wants to become a baker for the rest of his life, which is a good job. Man, imagine baking bread the old way. Not bread LLC, but like baker's dozen bread. Bread. Yes. Child has grown up. Good. Oh, that must be me. No. That's never happening. Um... Of our, I, I can't believe it. when you've got the materials to build stuff it just gets done like that it's beautiful you don't think you ever bought something because of an ad yeah me neither like I buy things because I was already going to buy them that's all that happens These trees are so pretty. All these orange colors. Can you please move a bit around the city? Uh, yeah, I could do that. No problem. Uh, plus 91. When did we start the stream? Uh, just over an hour ago. Like an hour and five minutes. You know, honestly, most of our city is right here, though. Like, everything in our city is here, except for just a farming area up here. That's it. And we're on a large map too, so we got a long a long way to go, brother. Oh, there it is. Oh, we got nine people pulling off the highway wanting to be bakers. There it is. I think I said ten in my rant. Maybe it was eleven, but I'll take nine. I know nine people. It's it, it, that is cool. That's great. Wow! Look at that. Thirty people now free to do whatever. My streams are your new addiction. There's there's quite a lot of them for it. The better to build the farm from the center. Oh, far from the center. I'm j I just did that because of fertility. Like, when I built the city, I knew there was a little bit of fertility down here. But I was going to expand, I was going to build the city there eventually. So the next closest area was kind of up here. As you can see, it's very fertile. And uh, I think we're going to do orchards and stuff up here, too. <coughs> so eventually we'll get around to uh, building more food production up there. Now we should be able to upgrade some towers for defense. Um, this tower here always seems to get the most amount of attention. Let's, let's upgrade a tower finally. I think I was going to trade with that guy and then I, <laughs> I forgot before he left. That's okay. We're not hurting for money. Also, none of the deals were, like, perfect. 
I want to I want to try to get uh, people with like a plus one or a plus two deal. You know, like where the green arrows are pointing up once or twice. You know. But yeah, farming away from your city is usually a good idea because then you can expand and not get in the way your sit your uh, your farms. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Building is on fire. Is it like Anno where it's better to build something close to each other um well the towers are certainly that well, some buildings have like a like a range and sometimes things will overlap or whatever but yeah actually we could probably oh, maybe I could pull this market down here you know I could exchange the market with the Wait. Yeah. I could move this down a few. All right, that's that's starting to make me think of some other ideas. What's up, the great? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, we're not really hurting for anything at the moment. Not even food, even though it looks bad. At uh, at two, it's still fine. Yeah, we went through all that meat though. Yeah, we have ourselves a pretty city. Actually, wait a minute. Um, if all these houses upgrade, we should be able to hold more than 400 people. Yeah, you can move stuff freely, yeah. Uh, what happens is that you, if you ask something to move, it just, they have to disassemble and reassemble it. So it does take a little bit of time. But it doesn't cost anything. Oh, we need uh, money for the tower. Oh, uh, whatever. That's fine. Now, the next thing we should do, chat, now that we're mining all this coal, is we should start an iron mine. And then see if we can start making tools, and more importantly, a well iron ingots to then make um, uh, upgrade the, the uh, Fletchers to tier 2 so they can make crossbows. Chief, Chief Ox, don't... You know how to really make me mad, don't you? Coming in here mentioning Ixion. the hell? She knows me. Speaking of Ixion, we will be doing a giveaway for Ixion in a few days, too, by the way. The developers of Ixion are having, like, their one-year anniversary in, uh, this, on December 5th or December 7th, one of the two. Anyway, they emailed me, and they were like, hey, man, would, would, would you, like, want to stream our game, and we'll give you a bunch of keys? And I'm like, yeah, I'll probably play Ixion again. There was, like, no deal, either. They were... Like, literally, I could just not stream the game and just give them away. But it was like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Actually, I kind of want to go back to Ixion because they made it apparently easier. There's like a difficulty slider. So I guess we'll see what changed the year after. That was a painful playthrough, but it was totally worth it. It was like... I don't know. It was like cleaning your... Uh, like doing a deep clean on something in your, your house that you haven't done for a while. Like doing the grout work, you know? It's like getting down to the grout. Yeah, Ixion was very cool. That music and, yeah. Yeah, despite it being very... Di Dude, we, we beat that damn game on the heart, like the hardest setting. As in like, as in like the default game. Right, I'm just going to build an iron mine here because actually it would be kind of nice to clear this out first. 
And then we'll go up there. Ixian was cool, though. We'll be playing that. I'll probably only have time to do it once, but... Yeah. Yeah, that game would be interesting to have co-op. Trying to think of some other cool co-op building games that are like, you know, honestly, Ixion is like Anno because it's got the whole grid-based system and a lot of those resources and such are like that way too. The resource management of that. Oh, chat, uh, during our previous stream too, we saw a new pirate city builder coming out called uh, I forgot the name already but uh, I wrote it down and I'll be taking a look at that uh, whenever it's out next year oh this is house upgrades oh really houses take gold to upgrade too And some of these houses don't even have anybody living in them, so they won't upgrade until people move in. So we still got to get about a hun <laughs> about a hundred more people just to fill this area out. Yeah, thank you, Tan. Uh, Republic of Pirates, thank you. For your end, do you have any plans to do a special stream, like maybe play your top 10, 20 games? Oh my god, as a way to give your new viewers a sample of variety of games. Wow, um... Every once in a while, I'll do like a top 10 specific thing. You know, I'll be like top top 10 Steam games or that city builders or whatever. But um, yeah, I play anything and everything, honestly. I'm interested in everything from, uh, you know, Postscriptum to Hell Let Loose to, um, you know, Farthest Frontier racing games, city builders, city skylines. I mean, you name it, I'll play it. Wow, and into a new year again. Oh. We got to get back into, uh, I got to find more people to play Lethal Company with. I played that before it became popular, before it popped off like five days ago when the big, 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 bigs started picking it up. And it's like, I got to get into that one more. That's a fun one. Top 10 games with no guns. Yeah. Well, that would be kind of one of them lethal company although i think there's a taser or a stun gun but yeah well it's very satisfying to play games where you're uh, not necessarily destroying kind of like farming sim just cooperating with people and getting getting things done is very fun which i think is part of the reason why i like uh gaming with uh, Lumberjack and Dirty and everyone else, because even if we are playing a shooting game, I see it as more of a cooperative, like, growing our channels, that kind of thing. Yo, Tim! Thank you very much for the five. Once a month, you should put out a video called Raptors Rating and Review a Game. 
Yeah. I have not done any sort of review. Well, my, I don't know. I feel like for me, I know myself enough to where um, it's like food. You know, like when you look at a menu. I feel like I'm, I know I'm going to like a game. I think what I'd want to do is not just give it a review, but or whether I would... Re it, it seems now that the big hot thing is recommended. Like, it, do, do, do you recommend this game? Is this game recommended? It's like... I feel like I just want to showcase a game and talk about the things I like and don't like. Or rather, things that I feel like could have been done differently or, or improved. But then always knowing that, um, you know, a game is always in development. Like, Seven Days to Die has been in development since, like, 2014 or whatever. Games get quality of life improvements all the time for new content and new features. It's hard to say sometimes. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I want to do... wouldn't want to do a review. I feel like the result would be the same. You said food, but food, potatoes? Potato. Potato. <laughs> Top... There you go. That's what I should do is top 10 games with bears. There you go. But half the channel wouldn't even know what the hell I was talking about because they don't get the notifications. I had somebody on... Chad, I was streaming Dredge on Twitch the other day. And someone came in and they were like, Raptor, I've been subscribed since I was 14. I'm 22 now. I haven't watched you in a little bit. Anyway, I have a question. How come your how come your videos get no views? And I'm like, dude, you came in and you said you've been subscribed since you're 14 and now you're 22. And so you're not watching as much anymore? Well, you tell me that. People, you know, people grow up and get busy and stuff like that. Things change. You've changed, man. You've changed. It's that kind of thing. But I do think uh, games have gotten better, though. For the most part. How do you make spices? You can't make spices in this game, as far as I'm aware. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure you can only buy them from trading. From Big Money Masook. You've been watching me for 84 years? Yeah. Well, you know, people come and go. They have their, you know, free time. And then it goes away with big projects. Well, Beldar's here, and a new livestock animal is born. Eh, I kind of want to keep those numbers up. I'll sell all but... All right, fine. We'll sell all but 25-ish. That's the number I'm trying to keep close to. No bricks again from Beldar. Dude, we can't we can't make the damn cheese thing without that. What does this guy mean we're low on builders? I've authorized for Okay, let's put fifteen people in there. There we go. Okay, mine coal and iron as quickly as you can.
Oh, that's why they can't do maintenance on those. They need bricks too. I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna get raided. I can feel it. This is the year the big raid of uh, year thirty nine is coming in. Oh lord, are they coming? There it is. Damn it, I knew it. I'm freaking pro, dude. Absolutely genius. Well, we got 59 raiders coming in. This is going to be a lot. All right, let's sound the alarm. And see what happens. Who the hell is that lady? She's just standing there. Oh, my God. Yep, good thing I upgraded that tower. Alright, we're totally rebuilding and upgrading these towers in the middle of the city. Can we build walls? We can, yeah. It takes a pretty damn long time to put those up, though, and to accumulate the resources. Luckily, I think we have enough to do it, but honestly, I let them just come in and just kill them in the streets, and we just clean it up. Yep, merchant wagon just pulls through town like nothing, you know, just normal day. Let's rebuild that. Oh, Lethros. This music pretty. Selling iron ore. Ooh, and tools. I probably want to make my own of that. Damn, it's been too many years without, uh, too many years without bricks. It's been, like, the whole stream. Usually it's every other year now. It's been, like, four years. Yeah, towers are pretty powerful for a long time. Walls are cool, though. One of the things I really like doing is putting walls around, uh, if you build a barracks, uh, the troops can shoot out of the barracks. And these towers each have two people in them. Well... All right, we got a lot to talk about since we're being raided. So one, towers are good. Walls are good too, but towers are better because they can shoot back and deal with the problem. The walls only delay the problem. So, and you got to deal with the problem in order to win. Uh, but another thing that we're very close to is upgrading to uh, crossbows. Right now, all these people are just shooting with bows, but if we get a crossbow, it does an incredibly high, like a real high amount of damage. So... If we upgrade the tower, and if we upgrade the crossbows, and if we get some sort of a... There's a shrine or something we can get, or a pendant or whatever it is. Uh, artifact, relic. If we pop one of those into our, our church, basically, it's going to be good. Alright. And they're bailing out. Dude, we're making all the money this year. Okay, these trades look good. Pilot Pro, what's up, bro? Good to see you.
kids are growing up. Excellent. I hope we have a third trade. We never get a third trade lately. Okay, we definitely need to upgrade these towers. Also, if you have iron, I will buy that. He just has the ore. How much have we mined so far? 18. Oh, he's only buying. No, co out for this one, nope. And I don't think there's multiplayer plans on this one, but... Um, that's okay. Oh ho ho, there's our third trade. Big, here comes the money masook. Oh damn, I'll, I'll trade the rest of these candles with you. There's the bricks, nice. Okay, I'm gonna buy a big stack. We need some to repair our markets. We're building a cheese maker so we can have cheese for the winter so let's do I'm just gonna go crazy with 200 it's a lot of money but it's gonna save us a lot of time and then we'll get a lot of that money back from candles not all of it but Do we have enough cash for the 15% damage relic? Um, I don't see anybody selling it yet. Also, we could explore the map more and get more relics. Village was raided. Two people were killed and the building was destroyed. We killed a great number of people. Enemies, 60. I don't think big money's gonna get his candles. When's he leaving? 58 days, Lethros is out in 10. We're done with him. Ooh, a little bit. Oh good, and I heard the market's getting repaired. Then that means they're probably making the cheese maker up here. The bricks will be delivered up there shortly. Oh, the chiz. We got six cows. Gouda, 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 gouda. Is this similar to Age of Empires? Um, no. This plays much differently than that. But if you like Age of Empires and if you like Banished, this kind of has a little bit of a little mix. Holy cow. 
Okay, what have we got for iron? Well, we could start with our first blacksmith. We're going to need a few people, though. And 29 is not enough. Pinto Bless, exactly. Cade, 36 months. Congratulations. Always feels like more zoomed in Anno 1800 game to me. You're right. It certainly does feel like Anno without the whole building ships and going to seven different islands to collect 18 different things. Yeah. Oh, and chat. Tomorrow is December 1st, so legally I could start wearing my, uh... There's another trader coming in? No way. In early autumn? What the hell? Anyway, I can finally legally wear my, uh, YouTube sweater again. Exclamation point Instagram. I'm gonna be posting all sorts of photos there. Uh-huh. Oh, and I have a P.O. box now. For those of you who haven't been around in a while, exclamation point P.O. Box. You can send me stuff as well if you'd like to. Snacks. Uh, you know, all that stuff's cool. Don't be weird, but, you know. Send me good stuff. A bowl of ramen would be just fine. Same day air from Japan would be nice. Or just like the deed, like the... You know, ownership of a franchise, that'd be nice. Yeah, snacks from your country would be good. Yeah, like Stroopwafel is good. Wow! Our good friend has just pulled up. Wait a minute, let me see if she's buying candles at a high price. She's buying for 11, big money's buying for 12. He wins. They're buying clothes for 16. There you go. Um. And she's selling iron, which is good. Crude weapons. Yeah, very hyped for Manor Lords next year, absolutely. 78 iron. Well, you know, I don't know. We can't really get enough iron, can we? I'm gonna buy the rest. I really hope I was hoping she would come in with cheaper tools when I saw her. Well now we could start making our own bricks. We do have clay. And a lot of it. Need to make a brickyard. 
section somewhere. You know, Bayou with the 17. Sweet 17. Welcome back, dude, to the stream. Discord's telling me, or rather, a couple of you in the Discord have now DM'd me. Is, uh... Oh boy, we're gonna get a lot of old age death all of a sudden. How long, chat, does it say that I've been streaming this game on YouTube? Four years. Ninety eight minutes, okay. Cause some people are saying ten hours, yep. Yeah, some of you are seeing ninety eight minutes. Again, billion dollar company, not enough resources or assets to be able to make sure things are done right. Either 10 hours or 98 minutes. That's, this is, YouTube's the damn cable company. I, I haven't even streamed for 10 hours today at all. Maybe with all my complaining and ranting today, it feels like 10 hours. Is that a bear? Kill it. Nice. All right, let's keep upgrading towers, too. Okay, um, I need a, yeah, we need the foundry. I think we're going to do our metalworking and brickworking and stuff up here. I'll move the soap place later. You love my complaining and ranting? Yeah. 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 be a wi uh, impending blizzard. What? Whoa. What? Whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going to need to make a paper maker before we make the book binder. Oh, paper mill. Oh, water and flax to make paper. Hmm. Oh, 50 bricks, too. Mm. 
Man, money is just one thing we're, we're not going to need. Listen to all those lovely sounds. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, a couple more upgraded houses. We have the room for 400, yep. And here comes the blizzard. And we got plenty of firewood, so we're good. snow looks so good. Schnizik. Looks outstanding. Villager born. Here we need to start mining a lot of clay because we have pottery and the brickyard to get. Great storage. All right, we'll upgrade one. bringing the rest of the tools over. Oh, the dairy's up and running. Now we just need che uh, milk to be delivered. Well, actually, they made 58 cheese. We probably cut that down to one worker. We'll build a brick maker over here. I want to eventually move everything and give it its own area. Make it look nice.
cheesy greetings from Belgium. Mm-hmm. Okay, we could definitely use another wave of immigrants. That's cool to hear all the little buildings in town. Trees being chopped, buildings being constructed, upgrades happening. Good times, man. Good times. Please keep doing what you're doing. Your vids help me sleep while being in the hospital. Oh, well, I hope everything's okay for you eventually. But thank you very much for being here. Everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Yeah, I was under the weather a few weeks ago, and chat was very nice, and now there's... I mean, there's always something, but chat's always very nice. It's always nice to have you guys here and check in. Outstanding last uh, couple of months as the end of the year closes in. Beldar, what's up, man? I'll sell those to you. Selling bricks again, I see. I'll buy till we get up to... We have 47. Oh, let's buy another 50. I'll buy 100. Then we can get all the storage upgraded. Let's just do that. No, I don't have to look at the fields anymore. Um, they're automatic now. Like we, we took a little bit of time to kind of set them up so they could be automated. So right now they're just kind of automated. 
All right, let's upgrade a bunch of storage. And the damn plank maker. Everything's getting upgraded. The chatty chatters are pretty cool, dude. You guys are pretty sweet. from chat that's nice can a group of people get banished to an unexplored place does desirability even matter I guess eventually because you start as a group of people who are banished and exiled but then eventually you know people start to immigrate to the town because it offers things that they want so it becomes more about a want game than a need game. Interestingly enough, I think by tier two, all your needs are met and everything else is just a want. These people have clothes, shoes, and food, and homes. That's pretty much all you would need, but then they start wanting parks and statues. Oh, and then multiple types of food too. So like, you know, bre baked bread. Potatoes, beets. Now nah, you can't grow those, but you know what I mean. Oh, and two more livestock was born. That means I think we have too many. No, we're at eight out of ten. Okay. If Anders Plains Rider shows up again with cows, though, I'm totally going to buy them and open up the second barn because we want all that cheese do another 150 here I feel like we're making enough money now to buy weapons, at least light weapons, sell them to uh, Big Money Masook. This is fine. silos are going to be full up. At least we have tons of bread.
<laughs> yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, the windmills are pretty. And they turn, too. They'll follow the wind. They're pretty, 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 pretty windmills. I gotta build a third one. I do need to buy a couple of heavy tools, just in case. Hell yeah, brother. Industrialization. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Let's we'll keep keep on keeping on. Sam Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. More wagons? Uh yeah. Well, wagons are usually just for the mine stuff. It probably couldn't hurt. So I only have one person working there. I feel like that's something that needs to be redone is the uh, the wagon shop. It's fine for now. It's totally fine. But I wouldn't mind if they... Uh oh Oh, the mine. Well, we're getting 60 frames now because we're running with a 4090. So that's that, that's nice. Looks like uh, building from smelting iron from Settlers 3. That's quite the memory. Yeah, they've probably taken some uh, inspiration from that. There's also that new game coming out called uh, Pioneers of Pagonia. That is exactly like from the same exact developer of the Settlers series. But that's cute. One of the things they're working out for this game, though, is the uh, optimization. It's one of the things they've... According to the devs, one of their last live streams from over, like, I don't know, six to eight months ago, they hired a guy just to work solely on optimization updates. So this is probably more optimized than any other version of the game as well. Uh, PC upgrade will be soon doing some weird stuff right now Frank Frankenstein's lab it's alive does this game have a modding community it does yeah I think 
The devs kind of did say that the modding will be more... They're trying to help the modders and have allowed for modding, but they're going to do that... They're going to really help after the release of the game, which is cool. Like, they're focused on adding stuff to the game now, like making their game, and then as it releases next year... They're going to do more more mod support. Oh, tell more. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of emotional. I'm not kidding either. I'm experiencing what you humans call feelings. No. Wait a minute. You don't want spruce. You want junipers. <laughs> Is there a lady involved? Yeah. You know who it is too, chat. And I miss her dearly. She's gonna be mad though. Tonight I'm making my own burgers. I'm not. I'm not gonna be swinging by her place for a Dave's double. Lady involved with me, please. You think <laughs> you think girls want to hear me complain about uh, Google and YouTube? Imagine that first date. So that's all about me. What what do you like to do? Let me tell you. First of all, 10 hours, it said. 10 hours I was streaming. It was only 98 minutes. Where are you going? <laughs> that's what it would be. Ladies couldn't hang with that. Who the hell is Wayne Wright? Is that Will Wright's brother? We're completely out of like people. Damn it. This always happens. I can't get enough people to move in. Alright, we gotta cut back on stuff. Uh we got to cut back on, like, the... Oh, damn it. All right. Whatever. I'm, cu I'm cutting back, then. I can't really do it with the clay, though. Or the bricks. Everything takes a crazy amount of uh, manpower. But all I got to do really is put a self-checkout at the market, fire everybody, and then have the people who visit the establishment and pay me also work for me. Now, wait a minute. Where have I heard that before? Something about 16 tons. See? That's what the dates would consist of. <laughs> and what ladies want to go to a Wendy's anyway? 
I hope they add more music to the game too. This is one of the very rare occasions where I played like 2,000 hours of a game. It has like maybe eight songs and I've never gotten bored of it. Meanwhile, City Skylines 2, yeah, about three hours in I was like, that is, that is getting muted. That is getting muted. Monitoring the hair. Yeah, I don't know. People come here for the hair. Probably not the humor, though. I used to make jokes where it'd be like, uh, I'd be like, oh, dude, that, as they say in France, that is no bueno. And someone would be, that is Spanish. <laughs> 900 comments that were time stamped. 26 minutes, 51 seconds. That's Spanish, YouTuber. Incorrect. You would be surprised at how many Dwight Schrutes. When you play a game that has this level of seriousness, but take a moment to make a joke. Inaccuracy detected. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Okay. Wait, listen to that. <laughs> Sounds like an old timey western where just bullets are ricocheting. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Now imagine if I built like a few more of those. Oh, that's going to sound like. Uh, a shootout on the Death Star. Oh, someone got stung by a bee. Wow, that is such a rare thing to happen in this game. It used to be... I remember, like... Apparently, Bone Fracture has been in the game for a very, very long, maybe even since day one. And, like, I had it happen, I think, in, like, our last playthrough, and I was like, no way. Not the bees! Bone. Raptor has the charm stats through the rough. Yeah, dog. Rough. Need more bricks. You have died from cholera. Can people get struck by lightning? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I didn't even know until more recently that buildings could get hit by lightning. Like, there was always lightning in the spring, and I was like, oh, that's never going to cause a building fire. Then it actually caused a fire at uh, one of the um, theaters that I built in some other town. And I was like, no way. But uh, you certainly can't get hit by lightning in Lens Island. That it, It's impossible to happen in Lens Island. <laughs> or... Or let alone uh, holding a metal sword in Sea of Thieves, like a dumbass in a storm. It that would never happen. I've never done that before. What the hell is 
are these people? Oh. I thought everyone was just standing on the side of the road. Okay, so we're doing a lot of upgrades with bricks, so the the brick house has to be on like full blast for a few years. Also, I think upgrading the uh, root cellars also means that the food will last longer. I think we get a bonus for... It's not only a capacity bonus, but also a different one. Do we have a clip of that happening in Sea of Thieves? I don't know, probably. Also, Tan, for the next few days, I... Or rest, or the last couple of days, I didn't have my... I gotta set this up tonight, but the, the button that I use to, like, record when funny things happen, which is rare, uh, <clears throat> I don't have that activated at the moment. So if anything funny happens, I'm gonna need chat to make a clip. Like, uh, Indrid, our, uh... MVP clip queen. Our villagers need to work harder? Yeah, they do. You know, honestly, though, this town, like, I can't say anybody in this town is, like, lazy. I mean, they're, they're all, people run everywhere. The only people I ever get annoyed at is at the trade depot when you'll put in an order. Like, you'll, you'll have a trade building, you'll have a storage building next to the trade building, and then you order something to get transferred there. And then they're like laying face down in the street drunk. And it's like, oh my god. What? Oh. That's gonna. That's a big one. Okay. That's a big one. That. Okay. Big news. Good news. Imagine playing, watching a paint dry simulator. I'm. I'm sure those simulators exist. Anybody with some basic knowledge on game programming has probably made a Steam game of. I mean, there's like what pet? Isn't there a pet rock simulator? New villager born. Eight out of ten. Cheese is at one twenty nine. Man, milk makes a ton of cheese. And we got so much grain. I'm probably going to have to go off and build another barn somewhere else, like another dually. So much cheese. Do they have stills in this game, you mean, for alcohol? Um, just beer. You can only make beer. And that just takes honey and grain at the brewery, and then it can go straight to the uh, taverns. Pretty good way to make money. Right now our taverns are bringing in... Uh, Six? Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's not zero. Oh, that's another thing we should build the tavern. Would it be amenities?
Oh, there it is. I'll build it there. Drawer opening simulator. I mean, that's literally that game called um, Unpacking. Unpacking was a great game. I thoroughly enjoyed that. There. Somebody's making a game called like Camper Van Simulator, which is essentially the same. You get to like organize a little a little camper van and go out into the woods. Be with the animals. theater. I still think the other theater is too close. Could upgrade our current theater, though. <laughs> 200 bricks. That's going to be a couple years. Back of my day simulator is where you sit on your porch with your friends and reminisce how things used to be good. <laughs> and that'll have a season pass too, by the way. Year one, season pass for back in my day. Predators are attacking. Now, thankfully, to up upgrade the roads, we just need stone. We don't need to, uh... Don't need gold. Or, like in uh, Anno 1800, you don't need bricks. Ugh, every brick. Bricks are probably the most, um... Important building material in this game. Well, some of the best upgrades come from buildings that are upgraded.
All right, now I just need a big wave of immigrants. Like, come on, baby. Come on in. Welcome you all with open arms. We got jobs, we got food, we got houses. We got a school, we got hospitals, roads, <laughs> roads, <laughs> roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Anders. Who's it gonna be? I knew it. Oh, we selling cows for five sixty two. Let's go. Just need a little bit more cash. Yeah, we're making swords now, yeah. Also we gotta upgrade the Fletcher. Where the hell is that? Uh, oh here. So we can get if we can get this building upgraded, we can make crossbows, and then finally bring in good weapons. is so pretty. Okay, let's go over to this other barn. How do we transfer? Kind of do half and half. Perfect. Brits, exactly, yep. Okay, so now we're gonna have like 12 cows until we upgrade those barns. So actually, that's what I should do. Oh, and then two more animals were just born? Oh my god. Now we got six in one, eight in the other. And I think when we upgrade, we get uh, two more. No. Um, I think it's like five. No. Can't be that many. Maybe three more? I don't remember. D Man Entertainment, thanks for the five. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much, everybody, for all your memberships, super chats. Thanks for smashing the like. Some of you dropping in for the first time in a while. I hope you're enjoying the big O stream. I'm going to cut the uh, farm workforce down a little bit. Now we're just kind of stun locked by people wanting to move in. Ah, lady friend is here. Hello, ma'am. Oh, she's buying beer too. Couple of shot, 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 shot. Mm -hmm. Damn, she's not selling tools though. Wow, we only have ninety-one stone. Holy hell! All those buildings and upgrades, I guess.
150, 25. Yeah, we're starting to make our own iron. Man, we got 5,000 bucks now? Wow. Yeah, Bear Borg is doing well. We are doing very, very well. In fact, Chad, I'd go as far to say we're doing good. Good. Villager has been cured. Kids are graduating. Good. that's annoying the people need to come and trade we'll deliver stuff for the trade it just takes time I love how in this game the developers have made it so that way the little houses this this is the plot here a three by three and they can kind of make it so it looks they look more this looks low density like this is there's not much here when the houses upgrade a little bit, they get a little closer together. And then when they're up to like tier 3, 4, they're like very close. Very big buildings, very close. So needed. All right, well, we're starting to get um, root cellars upgraded. That's great. We've got four. Oh, yeah, the cheese. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, now there's 100 milk. That's getting put right into cheese. Is that... How is that doing? Yeah. A person can make, like, 210 cheese. I hope there's one more trader on his way. Just one more.
All right, we're gonna upgrade all the towers now. For survivability. Need a lot more planks for that though. But things are moving and shaking. We're good. Six. Six months now. Wow. Yeah, all of our towns have looked really good in this game. The game is just like, it's one of those games where no matter what you do, it just looks good. So many people in construction. I don't want to lower the number of farmers anymore. That's not happening. I think we're just going to sit and wait. And we'll transfer all the money. All the money. Do I think they'll make a new Anno game? I really hope they do. Um, I'm going to be impressed to see where the hell they go. Because, like, Anno's kind of painted itself into a corner. I think what we might see is maybe an Anno remastered or, like, a remake of one of the earlier ones. But I think 1800 was the most interesting of them all. First one I played was 1404. And then there was 2070 and... Was it 2207 or whatever? And, uh... Or 2205. And I'm... I'd love to go back and play those. I, I didn't get a chance to. But I don't know where they would go from here. They've done the future. They've done historical past. And 1800 was the most interesting love when you can go uh, collect animals and stuff like that and doing all the collecting is very fun yeah 1800 has the perfect mood yeah it, it starts out feeling like banished basically and very quickly becomes something a little different But it's cool, like, it, it still feels very simple before you get to... Once you start getting to the engineers, that's when it gets complicated. Producing power, maintaining oil. And then uh, worrying about production. That gets complicated.
but I have no idea where they would go from here. Some sort of a futuristic, post-apocalyptic Anno, I, I don't know. I, it wouldn't be as interesting, it really wouldn't. Because Anno 1800 is kind of based on history and anything else would be kind of not, basically. But I, I hope they do a new historical one. I don't know. Ancient Greek, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know where they would go. How low can you go? Fallout? Uh, I've only played like, uh, on the channel at least, I think we played a little 76 when it was like free a, a long ass time ago. But, yeah. Last thing from Bethesda I played was Starfield. Now That was good. I enjoyed Starfield. Well, not all the crashing I had. Oh man, I had, I had some problems with that game. But that was really the only game... Uh, of a recent time where I had trouble like that. Okay, so it looks like mostly we're just missing planks. Oh yeah, I have Game Pass, yeah. I mm. have yeah, Fallout's on there, maybe, but... I'm trying to cover, like, new games and new updates, and... Worst case scenario... We're gonna have to start doing one and dones on everything, in order to cover everything. Which means every game we play once, and then move on to the next one. But... If we did that, then we'd miss out on Dave the Diver and Dredge and those playthroughs. Oh, man. You think there's a point to play Anna with all the DLCs without Maggie and other enemies, just to see what can be made fully? Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing a more peaceful... Yeah, doing doing Anno 1800 on peaceful would be totally fine. I think there's an incredible amount of people who want to play that game uh, considering, like, all the decor. I mean, there's a lot of DLCs that are just walls and trees and walkways and just decorative items. And, uh, I mean, we, we've played with a lot of people in the chat who've made beautiful cities when we didn't even know what the goal was going to be. Like, were we going to go to war? Were we going to try to buy each other out? But, yeah. It's great to see beautiful cities. Walled cities and things like that. Be worth a run just to, just to focus on the economic and not really worry too much about the military part. And yeah, pirates to keep things interesting would be good. But yeah, no AI. Some people would probably think it was boring, but it'd be like, eh. I don't know. To, to take all the islands and make them as pretty as possible. Cheeto Chopstick Island, yeah. <laughs> sure. Those are our roads getting upgraded. Roads? Yeah. Yeah, Anna was a fight the last time we played. You know, some things I still haven't done in Anna is like build the big skyscraper. Like I think all I've done is completed the scenarios and then the um, the World's Fair. 
but I've never built the skyscraper or... Well, then they they kind of futured it up a little bit, didn't they? I forgot they kind of they put dirigibles in there and you know airships, and those definitely were a thing, but not as much as Anno made them seem to be. Yep, population closing in on three hundred. We got to see if we can get more people moving in. Hopefully they'll pop in and say hello. Yeah, the world's fur. Hm. Clever. Very clever. Thanks, Ethan. God, we're closing in on so much money. And we just spent a ton of money to upgrade our towers. I don't even know what the upgrade cost was. I think it was like a couple hundred per tower. That's big money, baby. Big money, Masuk. Save big money at Masuk. Save big money when you shop. Only real ones know. I think the root sellers just bopped our uh, food storage way up. Oh, now we got rats. It begins. Now it's like we're in Applebee's. Four villagers born. Fantastic. Yeah, sometimes immigrants come in and that's the best case scenario, but having babies born is fine too. It just takes a while. 16 infants, 14 children, 47 adolescents, fit to work. Oh, that's one less right there. And then five, four, three, two, one. All right, um, wow, 256 people who can work.
You're eager for the next raid? Yeah, they're going to get uh, clapped pretty good. We're in some good shape here, actually. Raiders haven't come in with a demand yet. There's just been regular old bandits, but it's all good. So each of the markets have rats. We're gonna need like more. put these where they won't look weird. Weird. -j. Yeah, the big old pupper. Yeah. That's good. If you move the building, will the rats move with it? Well, there's this old saying. It says, the circus and a fat man's horse. I forgot the rest. Is that building that bit? Oh, there's a well there. Man, look at that. That's like people rushing to the uh, Teespring store right now to get 20% off all Raptor merch right now up until Christmas. That's <laughs> one at a time, folks. Exclamation point merch. That's right. Hoodies, coffee mugs, t-shirts, and more. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on in. Come on in, take a look. Available in many colors, different uh, styles, fabrics. Come on in now. Don't be shy. Get some for the kids, too. There you go. All right, we'll have to wait for them to move that well. <laughs> well, well, well. That ain't it. All right, so now we got a rat problem, so now we're making a bunch of rat catchers. So pretty much every storage and every damn market is gonna have rats, but we can take care of that. It's easy. This was like the first game I saw where you had to do that too, and then when I saw Last Train Home, 
have that as well. I was like, wow, I'm very impressed with that. Have to account for rats spoiling things and creating a nuisance, of course. Bad kitty. Big money, Masuk. Damn, he's like a snow runner across that hill. Look at that, he's gonna roll over. Snow runner. And there he is, big money. What's up, Brad? I think our people will start buying spices at this tier, right? I selling them for a high price though. Hold on, big money, let me check. Not yet. Not until not till tier four. Yeah, I can't play the song at the moment. I I don't have the clip uh on the on the uh interim. Trade for wood. Oh, planks? Oh, he's not selling planks. Raptor needs a spice rub. Yeah, if I sold a massage lotion, that's what I would call it. Stock animals born. So once these barns are full, then you know, of course, that's going to be some serious uh, milk and meat and tallow and cheese. Couple more years. We'll build a bunch back here. I want no rats. We'll get it sorted out.
All right. Well, will we will we be rated in year forty two? We'll have to see. We'll have to see you next time. All right, guys, it's been a phenomenal night again with Farthest Frontier. Uh, great strides in the city. All towers upgraded. We're a formidable fortress. We're a formidable force of industry. We've got wonderful uh, amounts of clay coming in now with making bricks. It's great. Farthest Frontier couldn't be closer to my heart. I love it. All right, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, uh, become a member. Thanks again for the super chats. Thank you very much for your memberships. I hope you've all enjoyed the uh, stream and the series so far. This is this is the best one yet. The best one yet by far. By far, this is the best stream ever. Like, this whole series has been amazing. So, hopefully next time we play, I can say that again and again and again. You guys are outstanding. So, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump over now to... Uh, one of our friends, whoever may be streaming. Let's see. Uh, oh, the boys are working on the farm again. Uh, looks like red and... Okay, last night we raided a red. I think we raided Dirty recently when he was doing something in VR. So we're going over to our good old friend, Slumberjack Chai Latte guy. All right. Go ahead and tell him I say hello and... Uh, Tell him I want to have a personalized one-on-one -on -one meeting with him. Just use language that just makes him think he's in trouble. It'll be funny. All right, you guys have a good night, and let's go over and watch Lumberjack, Dirty, and Red as they farm. I'm very jealous, actually. I, I miss them. Good night.